Welcome back to another daily edition of Nine Honey's Quarantine Kitchen. I'm Jane DeGraff and today's hero pantry ingredient that we're working with is coconut milk. Now the reason I've chosen this bad boy today is because lots of people have been emailing me and asking me what to do with this stuff beyond a really lovely curry. So what I'm going to show you to, how to do today is to poach some chicken in your coconut milk and then turn it into an incredibly fresh delicious salad because we all need a bit of salad right now. We've been doing a lot of heavy cooked kind of stuff. So I'm just going to start, get straight into it because it really is very simple. What I've got here in my pan, in my saucepan, is just one tin of coconut milk. If you've only got coconut cream, don't panic. Just put that in and water it down a little bit with some water. It's not a big deal. Doesn't make any difference. That's already been heating. So what I'm going to pop in now is two chicken thighs. What I love about this recipe is it's another way to make your chicken go a little bit further as well. There's a lot of uh, financial stress going on at the moment. A lot of people are a bit unsure of what's happening with their work. So we're all looking for ways to make things go a little bit further. This takes two chicken thighs, easily feeds a family of four, can go a little bit further if you bulk, bulk it out with other stuff. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing this today. In with that, I'm going to simmer some lemongrass and some ginger. And what I've got here is the stuff that comes in tubes, which is fantastic because you can keep it in the, in the pantry, well, in the fridge, until you need it. And again, it just limits the trips that you have to go on to the shops. So I'm a big fan of these. Keep those on hand if you're not getting to the shops quite as often. So I've got some lemongrass and some ginger paste, and we're just gonna pop that all in there. Give it a bit of a stir. Yes. Oh, you can smell that already. As soon as the lemongrass hits that warm coconut milk, oh yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. So now we're just going to let that simmer and infuse for about eight to ten minutes or until your chicken thighs are cooked and no longer pink in the middle. Oh, I could just stand here all day with my face over that pot. All right, so I'll pop that over to one side. And while that's simmering, what I'm going to do is make an incredible sauce to go on our finished salad. And believe me, with this, the sauce is everything. Now, another ingredient lots of people have been asking me about is fish sauce. You can see how much I love mine. The label's all kind of scrubbed off. This is the greatest ingredient to use in salad dressings. But what I would say is this, a little bit goes a very, very long way. And once you've put it in, you can't take it out. So just add little bits at a time until you know exactly what you're doing with it. Here, I have the juice of one lime. You can use a lemon if that's what you've got. That's totally fine too. And to that, I'm just gonna add, this is some palm sugar that I have dissolved in a little bit of water. Now, if you don't have palm sugar, use brown sugar, use white sugar. It's just to add a little bit of sweetness to what we're doing. It's not a big deal. So we'll just put some of that in there. Give that a bit of a stir. Now I'm gonna pop in my fish sauce. Now I love fish sauce and I work with this a lot. It is stinky but delicious. So let's pop that in there. I quite like fish sauce, so I'm a bit, bit gung-ho with my fish sauce. We'll give that a bit of a stir. Oh, that smells so good. You've got the sharpness of the lime, you know, you've got the stinkiness of the fish sauce. Just turning it down over here. Simmer, simmer, simmer. And then to that, I'm just going to add some sesame oil. Now, if you don't have sesame oil, that's totally fine. Just use a little bit of peanut oil or even some olive oil. It's just to give it some silkiness to the sauce and to help it to grab onto our salad a little bit later on. So a little tiny bit of that. And give that a bit of a mix. Now what you're gonna do now is taste it to see if you've got those ratios of sweetness to tartness to nuttiness right. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is so good. I make this sauce for so many things in our house. It goes on lard, it goes on all sorts of things but salad is one of them. All right, now we just have to wait for our chicken to be poached and then we're ready to toss our beautiful fresh salad together. Okay, so our chicken is beautifully poached and now all I'm gonna do is cut it up into little pieces that will then go quite a long way in our salad, as you will see. Hold on to the poaching liquid because if you like, you can use it as a bit of a soup around the noodley salad at the end, if you like, or you can reduce it down and make a sauce with it. So I've held on to mine because I'll be putting some around right at the end. But I've just cut all my beautiful, juicy, coconutty, gingery, lemongrassy chicken up, and that's all there. Now, what I have here 
is a bowl of rice noodles that's just been tossed with some oil to stop them sticking together. They're cold, you can serve this dish hot or cold, it's entirely up to you. If you don't have rice noodles, doesn't matter, use whatever noodles you've got, be creative. Let's not be picky here, right? And then into that, I'm gonna toss, I've got some Chinese cabbage here. But having said that, these are things that were in my fridge. So again, don't be too precious. You just wanna get the veggies into this dish. So cabbage, I've got some shredded carrot here. In that goes, don't worry, my hands have been washed. <coughs> Very important. I've got some bean sprouts, again, cause I happened to have them. And here I've got some coriander and mint. Don't worry too much if you don't have herbs for this, because again, herbs are one of those things you do have to go to the shops for, and we don't want to create extra stress here. So if you don't have that bit of finely, finely chopped white onion, red onion, whatever onion you've got, or some chives is always a good one too. So we're going to pop all that in and give it a bit of a toss together. Doesn't that look pretty? Really, it's just the, the green against the carrot that makes it so beautiful. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to just toss our chicken in. It's really a very simple dinner here. And it only takes as long as poaching the chicken. So if that takes 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can have everything else done in the meantime. So there you go, two chicken thighs will go quite a long way through that salad. Everybody gets a bite of chicken here, a bite of chicken there, and it's incredible. And it's padded out with all those beautiful veggies and noodles, which makes it quite a cheap dish as well, which is nice. Lastly, this is our dressing that we mixed up before with our lime juice and our fish sauce. Oh, it smells so good. Pop that all over the top. Again, give it a bit of a toss. And that, oh, I'm throwing it everywhere. Sorry about that. And that is ready to serve. That is coconut poached chicken in less than 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is pop some into a beautiful bowl here. Here we go. Oh, so pretty. Do that. A bit of carrot on top. And the very last thing that I'm going to do is dress it with some crushed nuts because I happen to have them. Again, just go with what you've got. If you've got some seeds, if you've got some sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, anything like that'll do. It's for a bit of added crunch. And the very last thing you can do, and you don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can take some of that beautiful poaching liquid, which is so fragrant, and you can just spoon that around as well, which makes it a little bit of a noodly kind of soup. Oh my goodness, if you could only smell this. Mm-hmm, okay. And that, is done. Let me grab a fork and have a taste because look at that. How beautiful and fresh is that? And two chicken thighs and a tin of coconut milk will go a long way to feeding your family. Let me get in there and try this. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Thank you so much for joining me on Nine Honey's Quarantine Kitchen. I hope these dishes are helping make your weeknights easier and I will see you next time.